Two Forks Tower. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's, what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Seriously, are you seeing this? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. 
Smart. Shut up. I found the supply box. Great. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. It should be called Cripple Gulch, just east of gonna pee in a bag forever flats. Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? That's uh, actually English for not in my job description. How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Cripple Gulch got me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. Think you'll have to pee in a bag for the rest of your life? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake.
It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. They're naked. Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen booze in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do guys think it's all right to just Fireworks. They, 
went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about, uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your, um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah, um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, Sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Well, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. <laughs> ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. <laughs> There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... 
Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator, it's all the power I've got out here? Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. I can't believe this shit. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii 5 -0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and... Now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. <laughs> 